many years ago, when I was a young man, <laughs> and I've decided that chronologically, um, my mom and dad tell stories two different ways. My dad gives very specific dates, like September 14th, 1973. I'm pretty sure he makes most of them up. Uh, and my, mom, my mom does this years ago thing, so I've decided that many years ago is 20 years ago, and if it's more than that, you just add a many for how many, uh, <laughs> however many that means. All right, so many years ago, which would be 20 years ago, and in the 90s, there was this baffling phenomenon, bedazzling. <laughs> people would, children, let me tell you, um, people would take jeans and sweatshirts and all sorts of things and they would put these rhinestone looking things on them and somehow or another you clamp it down and you get these rhinestones all over things. So people would bedazzle everything. <laughs> and I'm looking through my, my kindergarten yearbook and there was this girl who had, there was like a bedazzling club, and this girl had bedazzled a unicorn, an entire unicorn. How much of her life did she waste on that unicorn? But she had bedazzled an entire unicorn on the back of a jean jacket. So, I tell you all this to tell you this. These kids had cool clothes in the 90s, you know that. Um, but in order to enhance them, to make their ordinary clothes extraordinary, they bedazzled, or at least they thought they were doing that. In our lives, our ordinary lives are bedazzled by Christ. What is wonderful now is unbelievable then. This morning we celebrate the, the first miracle of Christ, turning water into wine, when he made something ordinary extraordinary. And every moment of every hour of our lives, he's making our ordinary lives extraordinary through his redeeming grace. Will you stand and worship me?